Hello, my beautiful people of God. How are you all doing today? I know that God has been faithful to everyone and that's why I believe that everyone is doing great and we must continue to give God praise. Hallelujah. In today's video, we are talking about Pastor Tunde Bakare and the interview he granted some time ago. And in that interview, he talked about Pastor W.F. Kumuye, the Deeper Life Bible Church, how he got there and what transpired that made him to leave Deeper Life Bible Church. And in this same interview, he talked about RCCG and Pastor E.A. Adeboye, and I've divided it into two. Now, this one you are going to watch is that of Deeper Life Bible Church. I am sharing this because I know that many people have not gotten this right information. Why I call it right information is because before now there had been a lot of misinformation and falsehood out there about Pastor Tunde Bakare and Pastor W.F. Kumuyi and Deeper Life Bible Church. In fact, that of reading was so loud. But I thank God I still alive according to him. He said many people has run with lies and misinformation that he is now willingly to open up to let people know what happened and that is what we are about to watch my people in fact i want you to sit down please watch this thing and get the gist okay it will help you because there are so many things to learn here okay so and you please share this video like it so that it will reach everyone and if you have not subscribed to this channel i beg you in the name of jesus please subscribe to support what we are doing because that is what it is if you subscribe then you are encouraging us to do more because youtube will now share the information it will share the video abroad so that many people will be blessed because in this place what we do is that we give you the authentic information of the happenings in the body of christ thank you so much my people this is the video please like it i repeat like this video for me and god will bless you if you have not subscribed to this channel what are you waiting for please subscribe okay and god almighty will bless you thank you so much my people and i'm gonna see you in my next one please do me a favor just remain blessed i'm eternally grateful to god first known unto god eyes works from eternity two the steps of a righteous man are ordered by the lord Again, it was a friend who introduced me to LBCU. I didn't even tell you this story. Now, eventually I was kicked out of Baptist Church. Uh, <laughs> and the reason I was kicked out, out of Baptist Church was when I was preaching as youth pastor, I burst into tongues and began to pray in the Holy Spirit on a Sunday morning before the whole church. Rama, Sete, Kreya, Baba, so. And I have forgotten where I was. It was my friend. Uh, Abimbola Olofo, now professor of law in one of the universities in the UK, who ministered baptism in the Holy Spirit to me on January 17, 1978, on top of Mariri Hall at about 1.17, 1 1.20 a.m. I remember clearly like yesterday. Olofo is alive to testify. He had given me John Austin's book to read on how to be baptized in the Holy Spirit, and he ministered baptism in the Holy Spirit to me. But I carried it to a place where it was not valued. So while I was uh, having experience with the Holy Spirit was when uh, Mrs. Bola Dewali, now Bola Dewali, invited me to the Deeper Life uh, Bible study, Monday Bible study in 1978. And I stayed with them until 1983. I'd already transferred to First Square Gospel from campus days to first square under the leadership of Dr. Samuel Odunaike when Brakumuyi invited a few of us to be part of the leadership when they were moving to Bagada. And I served as a legal person to them. I registered some of their companies today, Life Tips Limited and Zoe Publishing and uh, Publishing Company Limited. I registered those two companies and I ministered alongside with him. I learned faith and holiness 
Look, I do not know how my life would have turned, but for the foundation of fear of God and holiness that brought Kumu laid in our heart. He was a very systematic teacher of the word. Barakumu would take it step by step in a systematic manner that you see the difference between hell and heaven while he was I'm eternally grateful to him. And many years after, he later came to me and, and said to me, look, I will want battery and deeper life to come together. You lead it, I back you up. I lead it, you back me up. Uh, but I ran for my life for reasons I'm not willing uh, to to uh, go into here right now. But I thank God for the foundation of holiness and fear of God. It was it was there that I learned without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. But there's a second side to that. Without faith, no man can please God. That I learned from Pastor Adeboe. Wow. Yeah, talking about Pastor Adeboe. I spent five years of deeper life. And wow. My wife, then my fiance, was uh, uh, was with me a deeper life, and what a, what a time! Those are dedicated men. I remember Brakumu selling his car in order to print tracks to send to Ghana, but and he was coming to fellowship on a bike that would go to carry him. Uh, those were men who who laid down their lives for God, and their prosperity today does not come as a surprise to me at all. 